So uh, here at CES 2012, you're launching XO3. XO3, here it is. You've heard about it. We've done it. I'll go back to that. We're just running our measure application here. Give kids a chance. One of the things we've done on the XO3 is continue to keep the same uh, set of input ports uh, that we use on the uh, on the XO laptop. Uh, so you can use DC input sensors to run measure. Uh, you can actually use the laptop to measure the fact that CES is a very noisy place. We can sort of see that we have proof, proven that. Um, but we really give people the chance to run a lot of their existing applications, as well as some of the interesting new ones. Uh, here's a little uh, uh, fraction bounce activity that uh, Walter Bender actually put together the other day. Uh, one of the nice things about the tablet is it has an accelerometer in it. Woo! So we can play a little game bouncing balls and teach kids fractions. So what, what is the screen? The screen is an 8-inch 1020. Now you're going to make me lose the game here. You know that's not fair. Um, it's a 1024 by 768 uh, display. It's an 8-inch display. We spent a lot of time looking at display sizes um, and really trying to figure out what the right answer was. 8-inch 4 to 3 is actually about a third bigger than a lot of the 7-inch 16 by 9 displays out there uh, today. So it's really a good fit and the right size for kids. This is the size for kids. Exactly. That's the idea. So. Is this the kind of like the final uh, feel of the de device? The final feel, the final look. The only thing we did that's not here is we did add a rear-facing camera right here up on top. So there's a rear-facing camera and a front-facing camera. But otherwise, this is it. This is the real thing. But no Pixel G demo yet in that size. Uh, no, this is not with a Pixel G display. The, yeah. the Pixel G option would be an option for the same size display. Yeah. So the device would be exactly the same size one way or the other. And that will be shown later? Uh, in the well, it will be shown when, somebody, when, some, when, when a customer or a country decides they want a Pixel yeah. G display in, in volume order. They need the big order to use. Well, we're we're not like HP or RIM, you know, where we yeah. build thousands of them and put them in a warehouse and hope somebody buys them. Yeah. So this tablet is ready to go, but it doesn't go anywhere unless a customer or a country makes a commitment and says, yes, we really want to take that into production. How about this? Does it work? This this is ju it's just a model, but this is a solar panel cover. Yeah. So you've got a four watt solar panel. You've got a thin pack battery behind it. So this becomes a solar chargeable battery pack. You leave it out in the sun. This is a four watt panel. This is a two watt tablet. So you leave this out and you charge it for two hours. You get four hours of runtime out of the tablet. One of the things that we've always done is made our laptops and our devices easy to disassemble, reassemble, and repair. Uh, Nicholas likes to say that you know the warranty is void until you take it apart. And so we've got four screws here. You can take the take the four screws out and just drop the tablet out to do a repair, but those four screws are also electrical contacts. Electrical? Electrical contacts. So if you take, I don't have it on this model, but if you now go and charge up your solar cover ba battery, you can take it and snap it onto your lap, onto your tablet, and now these, these four connectors can power the tablet from the battery that you just charged inside your solar cover. You still have access to all the ports while you use it, and you can set your solar cover out in the sun and recharge it that way. You can also, you know, one of the things that, and this is the only tablet on the planet you can charge with a hand crank. Um, you can throw any kind, that's something that's really important to us, not so much the hand crank, although it makes a great demo, but every other tablet has, requires a dedicated charging port there's a, you know, it's a 12 volt or a 5 volt or whatever. We can take a very wide range of input voltages. So you can charge it from a solar panel, from a hand crank, a water wheel, a bicycle generator, a lot, a lot of different things. Really how smooth is, uh, how smooth is uh, Sugar Fedora on the tablet? Oh, we got some work to do yet. I mean, these are our, these are our first devices but it, coming out of here. Smooth already, or? Oh, it's not bad. I mean, it's not bad at all. Remember, this is. This is, in large part, the same platform that we have on XO 1.75. So it's the same software, it's the same What's system on uh, chip. Software, some, some things. Well, what do you want to look at? Uh, we can do a little turtle art, I guess, if we want. Yeah, we can back up this. So it's the exact same SOC, but you still changed the motherboard? Well, we changed the motherboard for a couple of reasons. Um, 
We added some features. Here's a little turtle art. So you can take, uh, oh, what's our turtle? What are, uh, oh, yeah. so uh, you can you know, run activities like turtle art, just like you can on the laptop. Do a lot of, uh, you know, I showed you we had an example of the uh, uh, fraction bounce game. We've got physics, some of the other activities. Again, this is the, in many respects, the the same system that you see on our XL 1.75 laptop. So you, you know. How about the 75,000 uh, orders of XLs 1.75? Uh, is there a price for those? I, you know. Yeah. OOPC Association in Miami, they do sales. I don't do sales, so I don't have to worry about it. How, how soon is it uh, possibly shipping? In mass uh, quantities. It takes about. No, no, no. It's cool. Remember, we don't ship them. People buy them. So it takes someone to make a decision to say yes, we want this tablet. It'll take about five months to get from here to into full production. If somebody says, "Yep, I want to do that. Let's make it happen right now." Do you think the sub hundred price it can be? Well, there's no price without volume. So the actual price of the tablet is going to be depend dependent upon a country or a customer saying, yes, we want this quantity with these features. Somebody might choose to pay a little bit more, get a Pixel G display, but save power and, and get some light readability.